Face coverings are now required inside all Rochester City facilities. That's the result of a City Council vote today following an amendment by Mayor Kim Norton to her emergency declaration. Come Maria Bray is in our studio with how this all came together. Come Maria. Tom, it wasn't a unanimous vote. However, the council members all say they're putting the health of the community first. Many places are now requiring masks or face coverings, and the city of Rochester buildings are no exception. Every scientific organization is pointing to masking being a good policy, so let's listen to them. Let's not ignore that science. Six council members yeah. voting yes, but council president Aye. Randy Staver. Chair votes nay. I would really like to see more specific criteria when, when it could end. I understand there's a statement that says it could uh, remain in place until the end of the state emergency declaration. These uh, sort of open-ended resolutions and declarations are making me more uncomfortable as I read or hear more about them. The council also concerned about how the city will enforce the policy. Our efforts would be focused on education and encouragement uh, with enforcement being kind of the last effort. And yes, you do uh, give the person a warning and say, OK, if you're not going to comply, uh, you do need to leave. And those who refuse may get fined. You have to acknowledge this as there's a uh, political statements being made with and without masks, and we are dragging our city into it more. And I want to be very careful with that. Um, but I am, uh, again, interested as we look at the other city pro or the non-city properties and say, what can we do to drive the best behaviors and to help our city and our community get through this pandemic with the least amount of impact? This policy will not be enforced in skyways and masks are already required on city buses. Reporting